So this room is the master bedroom. Um, it's the one that had the issue with the floor where it had sunk, I don't know, yay much, like three inches. Uh, it's pretty level right now. It's not level, but it's, you know, at least it's not like you're falling down the stairs. Um, this is where the fireplace was that I have in the other room, one of the other guest rooms that I showed you before. Um, the idea is that once I get the floor all established again, I'll repair that fireplace, put it back, get some resin to glue the, mort or the uh, marble back together, and uh, yeah, make it nice again. We're going to do the same kind of treatment in here. We're going to do big ceiling rows. We're going to do some plaster work. We're not sure what kind of panels we're going to do in here, if any. We're not sure yet. That's We've got two nice windows here. This is the north side, more or less. We have a small-ish walk-in closet. It's not very big but uh, mostly my wife's stuff in here for when she's here. And uh, there's a water heater in there now, which we're eventually gonna move to another floor upstairs. But yeah, it's, it's not a bad size, I guess. There's some built-ins that we're probably gonna keep, maybe change the handles on them because they're a bit 60s, but otherwise. My wife, when she's doing her jewelry for fun stuff, uh, works here currently. She will eventually work downstairs in, that, in her studio room or whatever you wanna call it. She has a little makeup table. And then when she's actually working, uh, and doing, you know, stuff on the internet or whatever, uh, emails and things. She has her little desk here for her computer. Uh, this is the ensuite. It's very small and it's very 60s or 70s, we're not sure, and very brown. It is absolutely, we, we were almost like, we really don't want to show people this, but it's probably best to, that everyone sees the reality when you're working on a house that you're living in. Things are not nice and it's been three years that we've been suffering with this bathroom, which is why that bathroom is a big priority because uh, once we get that done i can rip this all out and do an ensuite a proper ensuite in here uh, the plan will be to put a shower on this side by the window uh, a sink in the center and then where the shower currently is that will be the toilet just because of the way the plumbing all works in the house the sewer works well going along that wall but anyways and we've also got our only little air conditioner which vents outside uh, it's like a mobile air conditioner and it kind of does this room because this room is really quite big it's five meters by four and a half five if you include the the uh, cupboard and the the ensuite it's uh barely keeps up so we only cool this room in the house uh currently just just for sleeping so but eventually we'll have above all the doors we'll have heating and cooling and a big unit outside to cool the whole house so now we're done with this floor. That's pretty much, you've seen everything on this floor and the ground floor. We'll now head up the stairs and we'll take a look at the top floor and we'll talk about what's up there.